I recently created a video for the Out of Specs Bits channel that touched on a sensitive topic of steering wheel stations in the Tesla RoboTaxi operations room. Now, when you approach making a video that is going to be a trigger for certain people unable to accept the reality of these stations even existing, let alone what they may or may not be used for, you have to anticipate that there's going to be a certain amount of blowback against you as a content creator. And when I approached making this video, I recognized that was guaranteed. I was going to be um, have my character brought into question and my um, qualifications, many other things were going to be, um, the narrative was going to be shift. We're not even talking about this, the steering wheels stations in the robotaxi operations room. We're talking about me as a content creator and whether or not I have any credibility. I anticipated that. So what do you do about it? And the answer is you put in what are known as steam release valves into the video. Uh, if anyone has seen the video or if you want to pause and go and watch the video, you'll notice that throughout the video, I frequently refer to the difference between Apple and Windows because that's a sensitive subject. And a lot of the comments are hovering around what I call a historical nuance concerning the operating system kernel forking from Unix many decades ago. What that says is the people who are harping on a historical nuance are unable to accept the reality of what's staring them in the face because they're stuck in the one thing that is kind of thrown out there for them to latch on to, which is uh, the difference between Apple and Mac and uh, Windows and the historical nuance concerning the forking of the kernel. But if you look at the comments, people are not talking about why there are steering wheel stations in the robotaxi operations room. They're talking about little nuancey things, and they're talking about the gender equality thing. There's another steam release valve I threw in there. Let's talk about gender equality, and people uh, are able to gravitate towards that and then do blowback on my opinions on gender equality and things like that. And if you look at the comments, those are really what the comments are centered on. But if you comb through comments on that video, there is not a spirited discussion about why there are steering wheel stations in the robotaxi operations room, which means it basically went off as I expected. This is more or less how I anticipated the sequence of events to pan out. So now here we are two days later, the video is dropped, the comments are there, the steam re release valves have all been um, latched on to, and I've been criticized and all that fun stuff. Let's talk about why these steering wheel stations are actually in the operations room. Now, one person brought in an interesting comment concerning that they couldn't be used for teleops because of latency and it'd be safer to use FSD. Now, that is an interesting comment. So the two ways of communicating with a vehicle using teleops in Austin would be one, you could use the ubiquitous cell phone or cellular network and you can get latency very low if you actually link into the cell provider and um, you can get extremely low latency um, that way. Uh, generally, if you're playing a game online and you get over a thousand milliseconds, it's really starting to be noticeable. Or if you're using a virtual machine that is over a thousand milliseconds away, really over 500 milliseconds away, things get very laggy and you need a good amount of throughput in order to uh, make sure that that responsiveness is good. Um, but if you can get it under 100 milliseconds, basically that's where things start to become unnoticeable for a human being uh, to pick up that there's actually any latency. So let's take a look at Starlink in particular, what their latency is. And according to this, it says 20 to 40 milliseconds because it's not geosynchronous satellites that Starlink uses. They use a constellation that is low altitude, which creates low latency and higher throughput. So Starlink is definitely one of the ways that you could get teleops to work and also the ubiquitous cell phone network if you're hooked into one of the cell phone providers. I think either of those two ways, teleops is definitely one of the ways that it could occur. But let's actually get into the topic at hand because no one else seems to want to discuss this. I don't care, let's go ahead and talk about it. First option, these steering wheel stations could be left over from a bygone era and they're actually not in use anymore. They just happen to be in frame. 
And this is what we're talking about. There's one steering wheel here. There's another steering wheel over here. If people haven't seen the video, there's a third steering wheel over here. And so basically there's an area of the operations room of Giga Texas for the RoboTaxi event that has steering wheel stations. So you see all these puppies? Basically all these stations over here are steering wheel stations. So why are they there? Could be just left over from a bygone era and they're actually not even used anymore. And they're just sitting there and collecting dust. That could be an option, I can't rule that out. They could be used for training AI models uh, with simulations in order to get the AI necessary for uh, the Austin environment kind of better baked. Uh, so there's more, um, you can't actually drive the cars fast enough, but you could have a bunch of people and you just pay them and they just drive around and then you get the um, AI training model to be perfected that way. That's a definitely another option. The third option is what's called teleops and it's, it's three different things that I've come up with. And anyone is welcome to chime in here about different things about teleops. The, the big concern I have with teleops is that if at any time during the RoboTaxi launch event, teleops was used, that was never made clear to anyone at all times through all the content that I consumed concerning the RoboTaxi launch event. The narrative was these cars are driving themselves. There is a safety driver there just in case necessary, but really these cars are just driving themselves. There was never any mention of any teleops whatsoever. So if teleops was in use, it wasn't made clear to the public. And I don't want to say we were lied to. I think that's a little bit of strong language, but it wasn't made clear. I mean, companies do all kinds of things in the background and they don't tell, you know, they, they can make whatever product they want. But it was um, not part of the narrative. And I think it should be because I'm staring down teleops stations in the operations room of the RoboTaxi um, team. And I question why those things are there. I highly suspect teleops weren't use. So it could be that those teleops operators were just driving the cars while they were in the depot and pulling them in in order to get a um, charge in order to be refueled to go back out. So they could be just doing depot management with vehicles using teleops. That's definitely a possibility. So they're like right outside of Giga Texas and they're needing to get refueled. And so they hand it over to a teleops person who parks it next to a charger and then it gets plugged in. And then once it's done, someone unplugs it and then the car goes on to its next fare. That is definitely an option. Two, there's been a lot of speculation about this that some people who have actually driven with FSD say there's certain times where intervention is necessary and maybe those teleops people are there in order to swoop in at a moment's notice in order to take control of the car during an intervention time in order to ensure the safety of the passengers. That could be an option. The third option is maybe FSD wasn't in use at all and teleops got in the car and drove it to the fair and there was a um, safety driver for if the communication between the teleops person and the car suddenly got severed because the low altitude satellites of the Starlink or the cellular network became glitchy, they could either press a button to engage FSD or something, I don't know. Uh, but that is definitely a possibility as well. So just throwing out of the different options that are available, really my Biggest concern is that we have teleops stations sitting in the ops room for the RoboTaxi team. If for whatever reason, those things are in use on a regular basis, as a member of the public, I think we should know to what degree are these uh, stations getting used. Are they getting used uh, just for intervention? Are they getting used at all? Are they being used just for the depot? Are they being used to show for people around? And we have to look at this back, the backdrop of what's going on here. Tesla has suffered sales problems and there's been backlash from Elon's political involvement and they needed a win. So it, I'm just gonna say it, it feels like a win was needed, FSD wasn't quite baked, 
And in order to push it over the line, the Telops team was engaged to some extent in order to make this product look like autonomy is 100%. And in, in fact, it is not. That's my personal opinion. There's, If you look at the steering wheel stations in the operations room of the RoboTaxi team, I don't see how you can come up with any other conclusion looking at this rationally, considering the backdrop of what has transpired over the past several months. A win, a win was needed in order to inject vigor back into the business, and people who drive Tesla FSDs, drive cars with Tesla FSD, will say that it works very well, but occasionally it needs to have an intervention occur. And to suspect suddenly in Austin that is no longer the case, and we could have customers who are in the back seat be driven around uh, without some measure of uh, additional safety doesn't seem logical. And the fact that there's tele-op stations in the operations room makes perfect sense to me. And it is clear that people are having a hard time processing this, the truth and the reality of what we're looking at. And I appreciate that. There's definitely, this is new conversation being injected. My personal opinion is there has to be some explanation for why those are there. And right now, the answer is complete silence. Thanks for watching.